friends, how are we doing today? So, while we're all here uh, stuck inside for a little bit, I thought it'd be nice to, you know, maybe show you how to draw some things. My name's Kenny, and uh, that's pretty much all that I do. I spend my days painting murals on big walls, giant paintings, and I also teach. And so I thought this is a perfect time for us all to take a minute out from things that might be worrying us, or, uh, you know, not worrying us, but just take a minute out nonetheless and, uh, you know, try something new today. Now, kids, please definitely join in. You over there, you over there. And now, mom, dad, if you're sitting there too, scooch on over. All you need today is crayons and a piece of paper. Classic supplies. So, today, I thought let's start with a simple thing. Something that we all know and love, a classic tree. And so, what I have here today that we'll be using is a nice yellow crayon, an orange crayon, a green crayon, as well as a brown crayon. Now, before we get rolling, let me talk about using crayons. So, we often think of crayons as being uh, kind of kiddish. Sorry, kids. But there's really more to them than that. If you use a crayon, you can actually sketch with it. So that means you can draw lightly. And then, after you feel more confident about what you're working on, you can go harder with the crayon and actually sort of outline your final drawing. And so, as we go through this, in the first stages, I'm gonna encourage you to draw lightly with your crayon. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with thinking about how we want to fit our tree on the piece of paper. Let's grab our green crayon. So looking at my piece of paper, I have it going uh, horizontal. So what I'm imagining is maybe a nice big canopy of leaves right here and the trunk coming down in a little bit of grass. And so let's think about that big old canopy of leaves that are up here because that's thousands and thousands of leaves, right? And so we want to make that simple and not have to draw thousands and thousands of leaves. So what I typically think of is something like a turtle shell, right? So a turtle shell, sort of flattened on the bottom, and it's got that round curve on the top, right? So what I'm going to do is lightly, I'm going to start sketching in a turtle shell. Now, for bonus points, to make your tree more lively, watch how I'll make it sort of like how a cloud edge would be, sort of rounded and puffy as I go. So here we go. Let's kind of find where we want the bottom, just lightly, lightly, lightly. So here's the bottom of my tree. This is not permanent. You're gonna not see these light drawing lines at the end. Okay, so here's the top. Let's say, okay, that. So look what I did there. I did sort of this curve shape, and then I'm coming down and doing kind of what I'll call a letter W. Now, this letter W, I'm kind of doing to make leaves. So see how when I put that there, it makes it appear as there's leaves. Now, let's go ahead and do a couple more of these and start filling out our tree. So I'll come out right here, do some more, do some more. Now the thing is, is you don't want your tree to be too symmetrical. What does symmetrical mean? That it's not completely, perfectly even on both sides, right? Like a butterfly. A butterfly is symmetrical. It has the same pattern on both sides. For a tree to feel living, we really want to make sure that the two sides, when separated, have a different feel, but not so different that your tree is lopsided. But remember this, trees come in all shapes and sizes, just like us. So. I've got myself an idea, a sketch of the canopy of leaves, right? Let's go ahead and finish it off where the branches might connect. Now, down here is where I'm anticipating my branches to enter into the leaves. So let's go ahead and kind of put some here. Imagine a branch maybe coming up into the canopy. And then let's do a little right here, right at the bottom. All right, that's enough for right now. Let's go ahead and put our green crayon down. Let's grab our brown one. We're gonna begin by kind of deciding how thick our trunk is. So what I'll do is I'll find the center point of my tree. Now, you can put a light line here if you want just to see that, and then you can go ahead and make the thickness of your trunk. 
which doesn't have to be perfect. Watch how I'll put little bumps on the edge and little uh, things that make it, so it's not two perfect straight lines next to each other. Trees can be bumpy, right? Down here where it meets the grass, I'll usually do a slope or a bump out of it to express the roots. So look at that, something like that and you're done. Right here, do something that I would uh, say is a mark similar to like making a sad face. See these two sad faces? That's like the roots coming at me. Okay, now all we have to do is connect branches. Let's start with the one that goes up into the tree. So for this, it's easy. I think of kind of like I'm going out in a letter Y or something. So see how I've got the bottom leg of the Y. I have one arm of the Y. Let's do another. So there we go. Now it looks like it's going into the tree at different points. Here's where it gets fun. Let's just throw in an extra branch behind here. Now, get creative here because branches come in all different lengths and proportions. So you can have real long ones that go out. The more fun you have with it, the more interesting your tree will be in the end. So that's more than enough. To me, that feels like a nice round tree, like I can go up and climb it. Let's go ahead and put that crayon back down. Lastly, before we get to the finishing touches in our tree, coloring it and putting a nice outline. Let's put some grass in. So first, give yourself just a light indicator of where the ground would be. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I like to draw a grass in a way where I'm almost writing in cursive as if I'm doing the letter M over and over again, over and over again, but like really sloppy cursive. Cursive that, uh, you know, you couldn't read it all. Kind of like how your mom or dad might sign things. So check this out, and I just kind of scoot across. The idea is not to think too much about it. Look at that, it's like almost an erratic heartbeat. Boop, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep. Cha-cha, done. Okay, now it's time to get into finalizing our tree. So first things first, as I go around and I darken the edges of my canopy of leaves, I'm gonna accentuate some of the edges a little more so. So that means leaves, they're usually kind of teardrop shape and they end in a point. So watch as I go around and start to embellish the tree. So let's say I'm exiting here, maybe a little point up, a little point up. And as I come down to these little spots that I brought down with the W's I was talking about earlier, I'm now making them just a little bit more pointed. Check that out. So now we're really starting to look at our tree and believe that this is a bunch of leaves all right here. Look how even just drawing one little leaf kind of out of the larger context makes it seem a little bit more believable as in the case here. Notice how that's almost like a little letter W. All right, let's go ahead and do a few more, kind of finish it out. And look how great it is that this isn't even hardly taking us that long at all. And we're getting a very, very nice rendering of a tree that also has dimension. What's dimension, might you ask? Well, that's when something feels sort of 3D. Like you might be able to walk into the drawing and climb up into there. You might get a sense of which of these branches leads to which separate part of the canopy of leaves. So as I go around, Take your time with it. Remember, this is the internet. You can always push pause. If you get, you know, a little bit flustered or you need to take a second longer, I'm all about you making it as perfect as you can. All right, so I'm coming up along here. Also too, when you're doing trees, think about like your hair. Oftentimes trees, I just liken to a bad hair day. I mean, look at that. It's like, it just hasn't been combed. The more non-combed it looks, the more natural it looks. <clears throat> so there we go. We've gone ahead and we've outlined our tree. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just color it in. Watch how easily I'm gonna do this. A nice diagonal motion. And I'm going diagonal just to be consistent up here. Now, notice how it's not taking me forever. I'm really staying uh, in a nice rhythm 
in your head. If you like, just make one, two, three, one, two, three, tree, here I go. One, two, three, one, two, three, green, here I go. One, two, three, one, two, three, tree, here I go. One, two, three, one, two, three, green, here I go. And we're colored in. Okay, let's go ahead and put that green crayon back. Let's finish out our trunk. Let's give it a good outline now. Remember, we're not looking for perfect lines. So if you want to make it a little bumpy and a little bit rigid, like there's really bits of bark that are falling off and really tree branches, they would love to all be straight lines, but they're just so often not. So look how lively that looks. Okay, now let's give it a good color. Notice how with this, I just went in the sort of diagonal direction. Now you can go ahead and color it in however you want, but what I'm gonna do is somewhat go lighter than the outline, and I'm gonna follow the direction of the trunk. So watch this, I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. You'll start to see that this will actually make it look like there's bark on it. Now when I go to the branches, I'm gonna follow the direction of the branches. So there we go. So now we should have our tree colored in as well as the canopy. So for the last part, just to take it to the next level, and no matter who you are, you could take this to the next level very easily. We're gonna put some shadow and light on it. Very easy to do and it just will make a nice finishing touch. So first off, let's do some darker brown in the areas where we think there might be a shadow. Let's for starters pick one half of the tree to just do the same up and down coloring uh, sort of motion and go halfway across and there we go. Now it looks like this is a dark side of the tree, but that's a light side of the tree. Really, the sun's up here, and so it's shining down. Anything that doesn't get sunlight goes darker, right? So that's why underneath the canopy, I'm gonna make some of these branches darker. Now it's gonna feel like they're actually not getting that sunlight and making the tree more 3D as a result, right? Let's go ahead and put that brown crayon down. That's enough 3D tree for now down there. Let's go ahead and do it up here. So easy spots to pick right underneath these bunches of leaves. All I'll do is just for about an inch out, centimeter out, I'll just color a little darker. And I'm still following that same sort of pattern of the diagonal brush or uh, diagonal sort of markings here. Now, you can feel free to do any more if you want. Like you can give a little bit more of a color if you just want a section to have a little bit more difference in it. And look how I'm really scribbling. Now it feels that this is a just slightly darker here and it's got this nice bright light over there. Let's go down here and just kind of pick out which grass blades we want to accentuate. So here and there, maybe I could flick up a couple of these longer ones, you know, really make it feel like real life where not everything is a perfect pattern. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and add some sunshine into this tree. The way I'm gonna do that is using yellow. Yellow, I'm using yellow because, hey, Sunlight is kind of yellow. It's like a bright, bright, bright yellow. And what I'll do is I'll just, in the same direction as the green, color right over it, right at the tippy top of things. So let's say right here, just a little yellow, a little yellow. And as I get down to where the leaf marks are, I'll stop doing the yellow. And then I'll come down here, little yellow, little yellow. Now, great thing about this step is you could add as much of this sunlight as you want. Now, we're doing this drawing awfully fast, but what I would suggest is, you know, after you do this, why don't you pull out a piece of paper and try out another one? Because you can only get better at it from here, right? 
and no two trees look the same. Let's go ahead and put that yellow crayon down and pick up our orange one. So for the last part of my drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little sunlight on the side of the tree with orange. Look at that, how it makes the side of the tree look like it's glowing. And again, I'm going with the grain. And there we go. Now we have a very dynamic drawing that was very easy to do. And you know what? We didn't even have to look at a photograph. We did that all from our mind. That's real cool, huh? Well, if you want to learn how to do more of these, then please follow us, McBride Arts, on Facebook, Instagram. You know, while we're locked in, we're going to be doing this uh, very regularly, and we want to make sure that everybody that's stuck inside can really uh, do something new. And the great thing about this is anyone can do it, and it really takes you away from just whatever's going on, all that noise that's happening on your screen, um, outside your doors, you know, um, and lets you just feel proud of something you did for a minute. Lastly, please, we just started a Patreon account, and any amount that you come in and subscribe at would be amazing. And we'd love to get more of these videos out to you at a better quality and with more and more features as we get more subscribers. So thank you again. And, you know, until next time, keep doodling.